Good morning. This weekend is an important turning point on the road to 2020. Some campaigns are shutting down, others are scaling back, and everyone agrees Iowa is critical, which is what made a big event here last night so important. This is a moment where we have to be prepared to fight for the best of our country. We can't just win, we have to win big. A three-month sprint to the Iowa caucus began with a final gathering of Democratic contenders. With the race tightening, there's a clear contrast between moderates and liberals. We will fight when we must fight, but I will never allow us to get so wrapped up in the fighting. At a time of massive income and wealth inequality, the Democratic Party must become the party of the working class of this country. Well, that was a typical bit of uh, media reporting on the Democrat fundraiser from last uh, Friday, November 1st, in Des Moines, Iowa. Their Liberty and Justice fundraiser. Of course, they can't call it Jefferson and Jackson anymore. It's a... Uh, that's a no-no. So no more Jefferson and Jackson dinner. It's liberty and justice. But, uh, and all their hype about this dinner, which was supposed to be a fundraiser, is that it, they didn't have that many people there actually paying to be there. So first, let's take a look at a, a bit of a typical CNN misreporting about how they sold 13,000 tickets, got that? 13,000 tickets were sold. Uh, and um, then let's take a look. Let's go see how that's kind of undone by the Iowa Democrat Party website itself. Because as it turns out, there was two groups of people there. There was the A, the fun, the people paying, paying money for tickets. And then there was the freebie people. And those were the people that were there in support of various campaigns. They were either volunteers or campaign workers. And you're going to see, and they were the vast majority of the people that were there. And their numbers weren't all that great either. But but those were the freebie people. So there was no 13,000 tickets sold, as we'll see. Okay, this is from CNN. And it's their seven takeaways from the Iowa Democrats' biggest night of the year. And you know what my takeaway is? That the crowd size of this event, which was renamed, by the way, uh, was grossly, grossly exaggerated. And uh, this is the, uh, get the specifics, so this is from Friday, November 1st. The Iowa Democrat Party's Liberty and Justice Celebration the renamed former Jefferson Jackson dinner. Um, yeah, just a little point here. But yeah, they quit. They can't call it Jefferson Jackson dinner anymore because, oh my God, they Jefferson and Jackson once owned, owned slaves. Of course, by this logic, we can't have Washington D.C. anymore because same thing with George Washington. But the funny thing is, by renaming it and thinking it helps them now. That dinner, <laughs> it sounds like either a communist or a communist front organization type thing. I mean, liberty and justice celebration. I mean, definitely. Okay, but here, here's the big thing I'm focusing in on. Right here, this. With more than 13,000 tickets sold, Friday night was the biggest Democratic event of the year in Iowa. 13,000? Really? Really? 13000 So Wow, they must have made a bundle of money because the dinners, I mean, let's face it, they, they got to be at least 100 bucks each uh, for a dinner, right? Uh, uh, and, and probably more. So that would be right there, 100 that's over a million dollars raised. Now, how much was actually raised? We haven't found out. That I would be interested in seeing the dollars and cents. But let's take a look. A little bit more and 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 finally we're gonna actually look at the crowd size which really raised my suspicions all right this is the web page for the Iowa Democrat Party and uh, here they're advertising it says join us for the 2019 Liberty and Justice celebration 
and uh, this is where you can get your tickets well not any longer since we're done with it but let's just look at this now it's at the wells fargo arena in des moines and i looked it up wells fargo arena has a capacity of between 16 and 17,000 people and uh show so anyway uh here it says a limited number of tickets are still available well not any longer because we're done that was friday but here <clears throat> this is where the money comes in purchase floor and dinner tickets now if you want to we're going to see that we're going to see uh the people sitting on the floor this is probably where uh, i'm figuring <clears throat> it's got to be at least a hundred bucks per per person i could be wrong i think it could be actually a lot higher but let's just talk that a lot we'll, we'll analyze that but then here here's the other thing arena tickets have sold out but if you're interested in being seated with supporters from a specific presidential campaign you can click to contact the campaign of your choice to learn more in other words the tickets have sold out but you can still get in free by sitting in what i call the peanut gallery up in the rafters and we're going to see that of the specific campaigns which to me means that if you want to sit with them you can get in there you could have gotten in free i'm sure they did so here you just here you just click there and here you don't even you don't even contact the arena you just here they're telling you just contact these campaigns and we're going to see they're going to give you uh, colorful shirts to wear and pretend like you're really excited about whatever candidate you're there for there's various ones here oh beto o'rourke yeah well he canceled out just before that happened <laughs> and uh we also have kamala harris and we know <laughs> where that campaign is going but the point is these people are not paying so they when they say they sold thirteen thousand tickets it doesn't include the people up in the peanut gallery or the rafters uh unless the campaigns kicked in i'm sure maybe the campaigns kicked in a few bucks but not the actual people uh, sitting up in the rafters there okay now that's established there was two groups of people there the people that actually paid money tickets and then the freebie people that we're going to see up in the uh the rafters or the peanut gallery supporting the various uh candidates so let's take a look at a detailed video analysis thank god c-span was there because uh you're not getting this information from the mainstream media but c-span did occasionally pan the uh, audience uh both on the floor with uh with the tables those were the paid people they were they actually paid to be there and and notice one thing because just keep in mind most of that space that you see on the floor was taken up not by people but by tables so uh, it, and there's no way even close to 13,000 people were there, as we'll see. And then there was the rafter people the, in the peanut gallery supporting the various candidates. So let's take a look at a very detailed analysis of this. Okay, I'm not particularly interested, actually I'm not interested in all, in, in what the candidates are actually saying. Uh, what I am interested in is an analysis of the crowd so what we see here uh this is a uh, booty gig is now talking and as i said that's not important what we're looking at is the crowd so now here you can see he's he this is a uh, all booty gig people up in the rafters or the peanut gallery whatever you want to call it he actually has a pretty decent of, of all the candidates he has one of the best turnouts here uh but the thing to keep in mind these people have not paid to get in we're going to see the people that actually paid to get in in a little bit but so let's just take a look at a little bit of this i'll play it the sound is off because we don't need to see that so um or hear that rather so let's uh let's watch a little bit see there, there there's pete he's out there but like i say the important thing here let's get to the let's get to the uh let's get the actual crowd here there there we go there we go you see those are all but now you notice it's very professional uh they're they're wearing their uh orange peak shirts now this is probably one of the larger ones i'm saying now again reminder 
these people did not pay to get in. They're part of the now the, the booty gig campaign might have kicked in some money, but these people did not pay to get in. The, so their tickets were not. There was no sold tickets for these people. Um, I'm guessing. Well, let's take a look. Uh, I'm figuring several a cup a two three hundred maybe. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look. So there we go. They're all excited. And what? Okay, now there's Pete. So let's let's just go again. I'm I'm interested in the crowds, not in what he's saying, which is why the sound is off. Okay, here we are. Again, we see more Pete people here. Now here, I think we're going to see something very interesting. Luckily, C-SPAN actually is uh, panning the crowd here. Oh, oh my God! Wait, wait, hold it. Let's stop. Look at that right here. Look at this. Okay, Pete. Nice turnout. Now look at the Camel Harris section. <laughs> what are there? Two, four, six people there? This is unbelievable. This this is, gives you a clue as to a campaign. Like, what happened, Camel? Where's your people at? Okay, now we're going to get to uh, down below here. These are the actual people that paid. Now, let's look at this. these people. And to, you tell me if you think there's 13,000. Remember, 13,000 paid. They're sitting at tables. Here we go. Again. There we go. In the arena here. I'm telling you. I mean, I already saw some of this before. And in my estimation, uh, a thousand at the most. But let's take a look at some more. Okay, Mayor Pete has just left the stage. And now we're getting, I got a free frame shot of the crowd on the floor in other words the actual paid fun uh people the fundraising people the paid to be there at the table now remember these are tables here now we can see we can get an idea of the area i mean again you tell me you think there's thirteen thousand people there let's let's take a let's take a look at some more of this I'm sorry, this just is not 13,000. Again, a reminder, you see? You see here, these are tables. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe eight or nine people, maybe even 10 people at a table at the most. 10 people at the most. To have 13,000 people, fundraisers, they're, they're paying, right? You have to have 1,300 tables. Seriously, come on. Okay, here. Here's the peanut gallery. Okay, these are booty people. They're happy because their guy just left. I, I'm going to give him, you know what? I'm, I'm kind and compassionate. I'm going to give booty, I'm going to give him 500. 500. I'm going to give him five. He does seem to have a nice turnout. But look look how big of a, okay, so these are booty people. A Kamala Harris, uh, oh, forget it. Now here, we got, uh, Mr. Uh, Biden. All right, but I'm not interested in, in actually anything he says. So let's get to the uh, the crowds again. Here's some more Biden, the Biden crew here. Biden, uh, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of young people there. That, I mean, I gotta wonder if they were paid to be there or, or or more likely union members. Unions, where it gets people. Unions, the unions. They love Biden. Now he's exiting. Oh, God. Okay, so this is the, uh, that was Tom Steyer. What he's saying is completely unimportant. Here, now we're going to get a shot here of the, the crowd that counts, the fun, the fundraising crowd, the, the fundraisers, the people that paid B there. This is what counts. Look, now you tell me, you think there's 13,000 there? Come on, please. Now remember, there's tables. You can see there, there's tables there. It looks, it, that's what makes this uh, crowd actually look bigger than what it really is because uh, there's tables. There's Tom Steyer again. There we go. Here we go. You see, you see, there's a table. Wow. Wow. They're not even serving food. They're just giving them like water and, and drinking water. <laughs> God. Is there, at least it's wine, maybe? Come on, it's a fun ride. But look, look, look. Here we go. They're panning it. Look at this. Look at this. This There's not 13,000, folks. We're talking, if we're really generous, I saw, like, maybe a 1,000. I'm, I'm thinking it's a few hundred. Okay, here we go again. 
there, there. You see the tables there? And uh, again, believe me, if anybody thinks there's even a thousand there, but I want to give them, I, like I said, I'm very generous, I'm compassionate. I'm going to give this a thousand uh, people that paid to be in the fundraiser sitting there. So what are the people with the green shirts? Are those like union people? I don't know. Uh, so very, very uninspiring. Cory Booker, uh, now Bernie. There. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give the rafters. You know what? The rafter people, uh, I'm going to be... Uh, I. I'll give it 3,000. I'll give it 3,000 people up in the rafters. Oh, look, 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 look at this. Are you, oh, are you kidding me? That, that fundraiser, seriously. I, I'm going to be, I mean, I, I think it's more like 600 at the most. But as I said, I'm going to give that 1,000. That was a great scene there of the, the fundraiser people on the floor. There we go. Look, again, the floor. This is what counts, the floor, the floor. 1,000 at the most. Let's be kind here. Goodbye, Bernie. Goodbye, Democrats. This, the, they had nowhere near 13,000 paid tickets. As I said again, those uh, campaign volunteers and uh, workers don't really count that are in the rafters. They didn't pay. Well, the, the campaigns might have kicked in a bit. Okay, bottom line, I'm giving that fundraiser a thousand at the most and it's probably more likely just a few hundred like six seven hundred but I'm generous we'll give them a thousand that were on that floor you saw it wasn't all that big of a area and most of the area was taken up by tables not people so a thousand actually paid although I'm suspicious I think there was some union people there that their unions paid for them they, they didn't actually pay but still it was paid and then there was the rafter people, the people up in the peanut gallery. I'm going to be super generous on that. I think uh, I think the bigger campaigns, the the top four or five campaigns, had maybe 500 people each. Uh, I'm being generous on that again. And then the rest, kind of, well, like Kamala Harris. And then the, you know, does does anybody even know who? Uh, uh, Michael Bennett is, or or uh, what was that other guy, John Delaney? I mean, how many how many people do you think he had in the peanut gallery? Like maybe even less than Kamala Harris. So I'm gonna give him three thousand. I'm gonna give a four thousand total. If you want to go five thousand, be a little more generous than me, fine. But nowhere near thirteen thousand, and that's total. We're talking about. They said there was thirteen thousand tickets sold. At the most, and I, I said I'm, I'm generous, a thousand, a thousand, not 13,000 tickets sold, 1,000 that were sold. Remember, the rest were freebies. Now, I don't know, the campaigns might have chipped in some money to just to be there. Uh, but again, the tickets sold were not 13,000. It was more like somewhere under a thousand total. But, you know, you don't see this information in the mainstream media. You got to get it from people like me. Although uh, the mainstream media, who are mostly PR agents for the Democrat Party, they would say, "Oh no, but you're not a journalist. You're not real." Yeah, I'm not a journalist. Then, then how why is it that's me reporting all these things that could? All you had to do was just do a little investigation. I mean, any of you could have looked at the C-SPAN panning of the audience, and no, there was no way. 13,000 people paid to be there. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, see you guys later. Subscribe to the Dummy Funnies now! And, and, and don't forget to hit that notification bell 